My name is Dr. Darren Robinson. I am the Light Microscopy Facility Manager here at the University of Sheffield and I work in the Department of Biomedical Science. My current role involves training staff and students on how to use the microscopes, identifying which microscope is um, going to be important to their studies and also supporting and looking after the microscopes when they break down, make sure they're running well on a day-to-day -day basis. I did a degree in Biomedical Sciences uh, in Liverpool and then I did a PhD in Molecular Toxicology before doing two postdoc positions also in molecular toxicology over in the US and at the University of Sheffield. After that I went on to work for one of the big microscope companies as an advanced imaging specialist and then in 2010 I joined the university as the um, light microscopy facility manager. Light microscopy has changed rapidly in the last 10 to 15 years with the advances of things like computers, optics and cameras. Um, so we have to really keep abreast of a lot of these new techniques that are coming out. So my role is also is look, looking at how these, new, these techniques are, are developing and then pointing the students in the right direction as to what microscope they should be using. The LMF supports the entire university and we have research staff and students from all over the university, um, mainly from the biological sciences, but we also get users coming over from the medical school, from chemistry, from physics. It's, it's important to have a very broad uh, range of experiences when you come into this position and not just to be uh, focused on research. You also need to understand how the machines work, um, have a technical eye for understanding when things are not working properly and how to fix them. I also think it's important to, to realise that you're not going to have all the answers to all the questions. Um, and it's important that you prepare yourself for a lot of questions that you're not going to be able to answer. Um, but you need to be willing and open to at least try and to at least try and look as if you can point the, the users in the right direction. A light microscopy is an incredibly powerful technique because it allows researchers to actually visualise what's going on at the heart of the cell. We can label, identify and, and identify individual structures within the cell, even identify individual proteins and look at how they interact and migrate around the cell in response to certain things like disease or toxicity. 